this tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit in the ring. Total combined weight of 455 pounds. Outlaw Inc. You know, I actually kind of got to agree with Poe. I feel like Outlaw Inc. really has kind of just been outshined by some of the other competitors. They want to have this platform. They want to have the opportunity to prove that they're the best tag team here. And their opponents at a total combined weight of 498 pounds, the NWA National Champion, Aaron Stevens, and the Question Mark. I, I agree with you that uh, Outlaw Inc. did get lost in the mix, but that was because we haven't seen Homicide for the last four or five weeks. He injured apparently that shoulder uh, into the fire. We asked Eddie Kingston about it a few weeks ago. He's not forthcoming with information on the nature of the injury, but apparently it seems that Homicide has been given the old clue. He noticed no bandage up, but look at this. We have Aaron Shooter Stevens in the ring. And it looks like we have a, another student from the Karate Dojo. Oh, the beautiful the... Mongrovian flag. Hope having a good... Uh -oh. Oh, no. That's one way to answer do that. the question mark. Never touch, touch, touch the, yeah, the glorious the sacred flag. flag. That backfired oh, in a big way for Trevor Murdoch when he threw the flag on the ground. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot out. Stevens is our NWA national champion, and right in front of us here we have third the glorious third degree match. Third degree. How dare I forget that? And you, you see the, the glorious flag of Monrovia. Good, right in front of our booth. I can barely see the ring. Ceremonial bow between student and teacher. But I think Eddie Kingston is ready to teach him a lesson on how they fight on the streets. Let's see how this one turns out. And immediately with a karate kick was Shooter Stevens. Didn't quite pay off. Eddie Kingston's used to going up against shooters, too. Those are usually people who are armed with 9 millimeters. Yeah, I don't even want to think about his lifestyle growing up. What a rough time he had. It's only homicide, too. I think the, the clue to that is in the name. Say that Pope, he's been sticking his oar into a few people's business at the moment. He's scouting. I love the cadence, I love the accent of the man. He really gets me pumped up. It's like preachers of old. Come on, man. Come on. Great to see talents of that caliber. Everybody wants to be a part of NWA power. It's like out by ink. Best Howley wrestling show anywhere on the planet. Down by that situation. Here you see Homicide for the first the time. Weeks. Looking pretty slick already. Able to get that double vertical suplex going. Such is the nature of guys from the street. They never want to reveal their weaknesses, their injuries, and we've got very little information on, on what actually happened or, or the kind of injury sustained by Homicide. Here we go. He's moving very well now, which is more than can be said. Well, for Aaron Shua Stevens. When you're an athlete like this, sometimes you want to keep an injury like that close to your vest. You don't want to let everybody know that there's a target. Of course you do, which is great, but I see a big orange band on that shoulder, which is the target in itself. And, and there they are. Testing out that shoulder with the, the turnbuckle getting jammed into it. We'll see how he responds here. The answer back with a close on, but yeah, he's trying to shake something off. Of course he is. And you, don't forget, you're in there with a martial arts specialist, a shooter like Aaron Shooter Stevens. And he's looking at that as a target. He knows what to do here. Go for the win. Oh, my word. Shoulder first yeah. into the turnbuckle. Ooh, Stevens is such a smart competitor in there. Look straight forward. Oh, he's, he's ripping that KT tape off. Looks a bandage falling off here. And Stevens knows exactly what he's doing. They don't do a third down black belt in Mongrove. Correct. the cover. And back into the hammer lock. Well, thankfully, Homicide is insanely tough for this. Mere mortals at this point, I'm sure, would be lucky to tap out. But he really needs to desperately get that tag to a fresh Eddie Kingston on the outside. Shooter Stevens showing just how 
strong he is, able to lift up Homicide with ease. Yeah, you saw Homicide. Oh. Homicide shaking out that hand, trying to get some blood thrown back in there. Right? Maybe has some nerve damage from the shoulder. Shooting pains, I'm sure, going down that left arm. Conspicuous on the outside here. Is the question mark not been involved at all in this matchup thus far? Standing there stoically. Oh, blindside, Eddie Kingston. Sweet shot on Eddie Kingston. He'll remember that one for sure. For sure, just antagonized him even more. He wants into this match in the worst way possible. Well, of course, Stevens, the shooter, the smart man, the genius, isolating the injured homicide, keeping him away from his tag partner. Yeah, I'm surprised that Aaron Stevens hasn't tagged in the question at all at this point. But this is essentially a draw. It's essentially been a singles match. And once again, the cheap shot on Eddie Kingston. And what must that be doing? Oh! For Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston. Oh, Eddie Kingston. Kingston. That, that was his opportunity. This idiot referee needs to get control of that. There was no tag. This idiot referee. Oh, Major mistakes on Eddie Kingston. He could be there to get the tag. And the question mark's climbing into even the off the spot. The Mongrovian sprint. Kingston down. Oh, Atomic oh, drop. Homicide back up. Oh, the he's looking for his big finishing maneuver. He's won titles all around the world with this. Can he do it? No. The shoulder gave out. The shoulder gave out. Oh, the, spike. the Mongrovian spike. Here are your winners, the team of Aaron Stevens and the question mark. Oh!